So right now I have a 2015, I think, Alfa Romeo 4C. I have a 1960 Renault Caravelle. I have an old Maserati, a 2007. Problem is, the real cars, after about four or five, they start filling your warehouse up. You have to pay insurance every month. The Hot Wheels, you can just stick them on your wall. I'd rather talk about my toy cars than my real cars. They're more fun. My name is Bruce Pascal, and I'm obsessed with Hot Wheels. I've always loved cars. I was about seven years old in 1968, and my parents brought me home a Hot Wheel in a package. It was just an amazing toy because it was an exact replica of what the cool 16-year-old kid was driving down the street, and I became hooked. Today, I own about 3,500 Hot Wheels, and I guess I'm slightly obsessed. I have two places I keep them. I have a Hot Wheels office where I keep 1,100 cars made between 1968 and 1970. I put them by year, by color, by interior color. The rest of my collection, I keep in a warehouse. My warehouse is the ultimate man cave. There's where I show real cars that I collect, all the artwork that I collect related to Hot Wheels. Of course, I have to say the pink rear load beach bomb, the rarest Hot Wheel in the world, is my ultimate favorite car. The rear load beach bombs, even a common color, is worth at least $20,000 today. Most I ever spent on a Hot Wheel was in excess of $50,000 for one car. It's a lot of money. I am sure I've spent over a half a million dollars collecting Hot Wheels. I've always looked at this with one eye on investments. You can't look and stare at your stock or bond every day. It's a lot better to look at a 1968 Camaro. Trust me, it's much more fun. How can you not feel like a kid picking up these tiny little 1 64th scale Hot Wheels? I'm proud of it. I'm a kid. Isn't there a famous expression, the person who dies with the most toys wins? I, I think I'm a leading candidate for that right now.